Welcome back to Queen City News. It is 8.01 and we are keeping track of winter weather throughout our area. We have team coverage for you this morning. That's right. We got meteorologist Jim Lytle. He's in Dilworth. Robin Kennedy is in Concord. Derek Dellinger, he is up in Hickory. We're going to get to them in just one moment. But we do want to talk about the weather. We have two meteorologists in here today. We have meteorologist Elisa Rafa and meteorologist Ted Faden tracking the latest. What are we seeing? Yeah, right now taking a live look, I believe this is over South End uh, where you can see our, this is our Arlington camera showing it. there were the roofs that are encasing that snow and this is now where we're starting to transition a little bit more into uh, the wintry mix, not just the snow. If you're just waking up and joining us, we've had a good amount of that, but the transition is going to happen throughout the morning and into the afternoon and you can see these temperatures, the cold temperatures that are in place. Uh, uh, to uh, Sam, see if we can get Max 2 here behind me, but where we hold on to the 16 and the 19 degrees is where you're getting more of that straight snow event over towards our higher elevations and the foothills but over down towards Monroe, Lancaster, Shra, that's more of the wintry mix, including some of the sleet and the ice that's impacted in there. Gastonia sitting at 25 degrees and right on the cusp of where that transition is going to happen. This is a, a system that we're dealing with. And now the reason we're having this wintry mix is because this low pressure system, which is responsible for what we're seeing, picked up a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Now you just saw how cold those temperatures are at the surface, but when you're grabbing that, that uh, Gulf of Mexico moisture, there's a lot of warmth impacted in that, and that's what's going to okay. be over our heads. Remember, cold air sinks, hot air rises. So the warmth that comes with this moisture stays overhead. And while it has a brief period of, of melting, by the time it reaches the ground, it freezes again around the Queen City, which is why you have that wintry mix it's separated between the snow and the rain out there. So zooming in exactly finding out where that transition is happening, we're speaking to your folks over towards Mint Hill, Matthews area, New Salem, over towards Ansonville. That's where we're starting to see a little bit more of a transition in terms of the sleet and the freezing rain than the snow that we had not too long ago. Pushing a little closer now over towards uh, Weddington, Monroe, Jackson, that's still more of the sleet. And notice that the uptown Charlotte Queen City region and 485 outer surrounding areas getting a little bit more in terms of the uh, pink and the purple here. Pushing back towards Lincolnton and Bellwood, Shelby, the darker blues hinting at more of the moderate to uh, to more of the heavy snowfall that's coming ahead of the transition here. So depending on where you are, it's really going to determine what you're seeing from this. I mentioned the warm air that's pushing in overhead and now notice that it goes from the freezing rain, which is just that small layer of the cold below freezing temperature temperatures while the warm air is on top because you have that snow that melts, turns into water, and then it freezes on contact. Sleet is when we have a bit more of that gap between the colder air so the rain gets to refreeze before it lands on the ground. That's probably some of what you've been hearing in some of the live shots and you see it bouncing off of the jackets, the sleeves and surfaces, windshields. Sleet is going to have that bounce to it and the snow is what we experience first is likely going to be easing up for some folks, but towards our higher elevations, they're going to hold on to that a little bit longer. So in terms of of the storm and the mix that you're going to get this morning and into the afternoon is mainly going to be the main event here. Starting to transition over to some of that ice. It's going to slowly taper off as we head into the evening. So certainly watch closely as we uh, have the potential for ice and maybe a brief period of snow on the back end of this before some uh, bitter cold temperatures come by overnight into your Monday morning. So those concerns can last at least into Monday, Monday morning, even further towards Tuesday morning. Julian Casey, I know you've been breaking things down for us and keeping us updated. We'll take another look at that forecast coming up. All right, Ted, thank you. We do want to give you a, oh, I believe Lisa Rafa, Rafa has more. First. Yeah, um, so I just wanted to pick up where Ted left off, talking about some of that timing. I mean, we're still expecting some of this ice to really start to blossom as we go into the afternoon and putting, whoop, this one, it's <laughs> putting this one in motion. Um, we'll find these purples and pinks again really taking over a lot of the areas as we go through the afternoon. This is that snow on the backside that Ted was talking about because the backside of the storm that's where we're going to find that cold air again the colder side so we'll have you know we started as snow we'll go to that freezing rain and mix and then we'll transition back to snow on the back side as that column cools off a little bit more that could be heavy at times but i do think by the evening it's going to start to kind of fizzle out we'll find maybe some more of these flurries by about eight or nine o'clock and then we'll find things lifting off to the north it will though continue you'll probably have persistent snow showers in the higher elevations because of that terrain it actually helps create 
even more uh, uh, snow showers as we go through the morning and then into tomorrow. But tomorrow is dry. The problem is these temperatures will get cold again tonight. So these travel alerts as we go through the next day, I mean, we're obviously we've been the mantra we've been hitting, right? Stay home, that heavy snow to the north and west, and then still expecting some icing concerns for Charlotte and areas to the south and east. If it's an emergency and you have to get out, check the tires first. Clean the snow and ice off those windows and the roof. You don't want to be that guy. The snow can fall off of your roof and, and hit the person behind you, so you don't want to do that. So just uh, take it slow. Give yourself some extra following space. Again, we're going to keep things pretty snowy and icy, even turning a little bit more icy by the afternoon and evening. Julian, Casey.